need to live like a friend to Jesus. Close relationship with God. How can you hear something that God tells you if you're way off somewhere and he's way off in another state? Sure, we have phones in the natural, but still, if we're not living in his realm, how are we going to hear him? Because he's in a different realm. If How are you going to experience the angels? How are you going to experience the manifestations in those realms? It's a different realm. It's a different, it's called the third heaven. You live in a relationship with him. When you have a relationship here with him, he'll invite you right into it. When you have a close friendship and relationship with him, boy, you can experience a lot of things because he wants to show you. Of course, the scripture tells us he wants to. He wants that kind of a relationship. And to learn about it and learn about all these things, it's in the word. It's in the word, all the examples of all the different things we could experience. Get rid of flesh, our carnal nature, because it don't belong in this kingdom realm. Jesus could not live in the spiritual realm on earth without making sure he had no sin. Because they were trying to throw a lot of stuff at him and trying to give him a lot of things. But he said no. He said no to it. I am going to walk. What did he say? I'm going to do and say exactly what my father says. And that's what living in the kingdom realm is. Is walking and thinking just like God. What he has to say about a situation. There again, that puts on this next one. We need to put on the mind of Christ. we got to think, act, and walk just like Jesus. I'm not saying you have to walk like they did in the, their culture back then. I'm saying we need to think and act like his character, who he was, how he thought. He got every word from the Father. He spoke the truth. He walked and thought everything that needed to be. He taught us how to do it. He's the best example on earth to walk in the kingdom of God. And his disciples finally went that way and walked in his mind and looked at all the things that they experienced and all the things they brought, manifestations that happened. You not only need to ask for those things and ask for the, those experiences of the signs, wonders, and miracles and to walk in that realm, but you need to desire him, Jesus, and God. You need to, he wants to be desired. He wants to be wanted. We long after him. When we long after him and desire him, he'll come close to us. He'll show us many things because we desire to talk to him. We desire to see him. We desire to know the things of him, to seek and desire after him. And sometimes it'll take fasting and praying. How do you think I got the vision for this ministry? You've got to have a vision for your own ministry, isn't it? It takes fasting and praying. It may be a struggle sometimes. I know I physically have to struggle at times when I fast. But we've got to push on through. Jesus fasted and prayed. In order to experience it all he had in the kingdom, it takes fasting and praying. We can pray, but we need to also fast. We've got to not only fast food-wise, which is very, very important. That's one aspect of fasting. The other thing is fasting from earthly desires, earthly things. Fasting from everything that does not pertain to the kingdom. See, I've had to experience that with my family, and they don't under, quite under, get it. I said, no, I cannot attend some, I have to do things differently. I can't attend family doings because I am kingdom-minded. That's, a, it, a, in a sense, a fast from this natural desire is what we need to do. But we need to definitely fast and pray. Fast in the flesh. Fla- fasting actually breaks down the flesh, breaks us down to humble us, and it also brings the spiritual realm closer. And the last thing that I was thinking about, we need to worship him. Worship him. And I forgot, we'll go back to, we definitely need to worship him because when you're worshiping him, that's when those experiences happen. When we just rest in him and worship him, wow, he comes quick and fast to you. Kenneth many times says, well, how do you get this information so fast really in him? We pray a little bit and I've gotten something. I've gotten something. It's because I'm worshiping him. I'm drawing myself. I'm pulling myself. It's like pulling yourselves right into his presence. When you desire for him, you seek after him, you're fasting, you're studying your word, you know it's available. If you really know it's available, you can believe it'll happen. So the scripture tells us it's available to us. I have a point that's in one of my books that talk, I meant to read this, talking about when we get rid of the flesh. This is very important because you can't take the sin and flesh into that presence. 
You've got to do away your own thinking and your own desires. And many times it's so easy and we've got to stop doing it. To when we pray or when we seek in God for something, that we go into his presence with our way of thinking that way, the way we think God should do it. It don't work. We got to go in saying, Lord, whatever you're doing, whatever you want to do, however you want to do it, you're going to, we know it, you said it, especially when it comes, like for salvation, for like, for example, salvation for our son, we've been praying. God, whatever it takes to get him there, you do it. It's your business. It's your kingdom. It's your way of doing it. But I know that he is going to get saved. That is pulling it by faith saying, God, you take care of it. It's your business. It's your way of doing it. Not, Lord, you do it this certain way. It don't work. We've got to do away with our thinking and the way we would do it. This point is when it comes to dying to your flesh, is to die your, to yourself and your way of thinking. Don't live the way man tells you to live, but live according to the Bible or the God's ways. We need to live. It takes faith to walk in it, to receive it, to understand it. <laughs> Definitely to understand it. Because the disciples were earthly beings. And sometimes it, I don't quite get it, but Lord, I'm going to accept it anyway. I'm going to receive it of you. I'm going to ask you because you want and desire for us to have those things. I'm going to live so close to you. I'm going to live in a relationship with God and with you and a friendship so close. A friend actually shares information. But if you don't have that close relationship, you don't, it don't, you don't get any sharing. And I'm going to study his, your word that God in your word tells us all about what you want us to have, what we can experience, and how it works. Of course, get rid of our flesh and our kind of nature. We need to put on the mind of Christ. Think like he did. Act like he did. Study him if we need to. So we can better understand what the kingdom's about. And we need to seek and desire after God. We don't want to just seek after him for all these things he can do for us. Because he's mighty and awesome. And what he can do for us and these manifestations are helping us physically, spiritually, or whatever way. But just do it because you want him. Just how many times, and I've, as a husband and wife, will tell each, I tell Kenneth that we don't, I don't need all these other things. I just want to know I'm wanted. See, God's the same way. To know that you really want and desire Him for no other reason but just to be with Him, just to share with Him, just to, just to be close to Him. And of course, take some fasting and praying, and more fasting as the Lord leads you to fast, fast. And it's very important that we fast. And along the pathway that we're going to worship him. Because even after he's done it, we need to worship him. During the time he's doing it, we need to worship him. And when we worship him, it'll pull him into us. So before, during, and after, we're constantly worshiping. We're constantly having intimacy with him. And having, making love to him. And showing our gratitude for what he is. So we need to walk in that spiritual realm because it is available to us. Walk in it so it will help us rest. It will help us that I talked about last week. It will help us to trust. It will help us in all avenues of our life when we go through trials or when uh, disasters hit this nation or, or other nations that we can experience and know this is what's spoken about and it won't bother us because the word had said it. Okay, that's kingdom way of doing. It ain't going to move you. But you're able to not... How many times you think about it that you can get... When a, something happens, a disaster or trouble happens, that and other, a lot of people are affected, you have to gather your wits about you, as they say, to get, okay, now I can help somebody. But why don't we walk in a, our true way of thinking all the time? So, okay, it happened, we can just walk and go help. Without getting ourselves ready to help. Just pick up and go. And do what he asks us to do. So walk in that realm. We need to walk in that realm at all times. 